Jim Derbyshire began his fight for Black Butt Preserve when, in 1978, the then State Government proposed to clear cut the forest for public housing. Many, including Jim, protested so vigorously that the forest was given to the community to be held in trust by Shell Harbour City Council. Since that time, Jim has been involved on and off with Black Butt volunteers. In 2008, 30 years later, as his dicky back was getting more and more dicky, Jim switched from slashing away at lantana and other weeds to portraying the forest through art interpretation. Helped initially by his teacher daughter Selena, Jim set about working with students from the schools which had been involved in National Tree Day plantings in the Black Forest. Various animals of the forest were outlined on calico by Jim, painted by the students, sometimes quite creatively. Then their edges were trimmed and they were glued to the Black Butt Forest backdrop, painted by Jim. Each mural measures 90 centimetres by 150 centimetres, and the 18 murals completed by Jim and the school students in the 2008, 2009 and 2010 are now displayed in nine local schools. A further three murals will be completed in October, November this year. Jim Derbyshire's imagination and rich artistic skills have led to proud, permanent and beautiful records of schools assisting the National Tree Day plantings, totalling over 5,000 Indigenous plants at Black Butt over the past four years. Terry Rankmore has a passion for native plants and a great admiration for the complex plant science of traditional Aboriginal people. Terry is a regular volunteer on working bees at Black Butt Forest Reserve, but his real love is building his knowledge of the usage of native plants by the Aboriginal people of the Illawarra and sharing that knowledge as widely as possible. In 2009, Terry received a grant from Landcare Illawarra, which enabled him to turn his private notes on plant use by the Darawal people into Murni Dungang, a beautiful commercially printed 70 page full colour book on the plant foods and animal foods of the local traditional Aborigines. 300 copies were printed. Murni Dungang was then introduced to teachers from 20 schools at a two hour workshop. Schools sent a teacher to this workshop received a class set of books for their use. A grant from Southern Rivers Catchment Management Authority enabled 700 more copies of Terry's book to be printed. Workshops were conducted with a further 23 schools in the Illawarra and Shoalhaven to help ensure that the substantial plant science of traditional Aboriginal peoples was more widely appreciated and respected. Terry has now received a major grant from the New South Wales Environmental Trust to produce another book on bush medicines of the Illawarra. The role of the Illawarra Aboriginal Corporation has been essential in backing his passion of Terry's to research and then share such vital understandings of Aboriginal history. <laughs>